Hey, my fellow NHLers, it's your friend Ebbs and Flows here bringing you another video this week. This is our third video of the week. We put one out Monday, we put one out yesterday, and I just wanted to get another one before the weekend because I usually don't record or put up videos on the weekend. Uh, I just wanted to show you quick, we were 75 in the world now in regular NHL, which is really cool. We played two games last night, won both, so we moved up five or six spots from our last video. Uh, before we get into our gameplay, I just wanted to mention, if you guys haven't seen the videos earlier this week, there is one from Monday, like I said, and one from yesterday, too, making three videos this week, so if you're looking for more content, there is two other videos that were already out, so go check those out if you feel like it. Other than that, welcome to this one. <laughs> we got another episode, and this one we're not going to open packs. I was thinking about it, as you could see, and I was like, ah, oh, we bought so many this week. Uh, we got some great pools already, so let's just get some gameplay. That's honestly my favorite part, is just playing the game. That's the best part of NHL. It's not just opening packs. It's getting out there, playing playing with your team, having fun, scoring goals. That's what it's all about. So let's get into our first game. Madonna somehow comes up with that loose puck and clangs it off the left bar. Good shot, good finish. Uh, no assist on that one, but we'll take the one nothing lead. So late in the first period here, we have a bad turnover, and usually that leads to clap. <laughs> good shot. Blue line ripper, man. Good shot, good 1T. Uh, great work around by my opponent. So tied up right at the end of the of the first period, but we come down <laughs> almost. We blow them up at the blue line. We get it quick. We there we go. We come down now, and we're just gonna outskate the goalie forehand and throw it in. That's uh, I believe it's Nick Backstrom, our fourth line center. Great goal. Great pressure by the fourth line. All right, so two to one. Luckily, we were able to answer back pretty quickly. As you can see, it's a very tight game. And look at that passing percentage for me. What in the heck is going on with that? 28% if you didn't catch it. Shots are tied 6-6. Six, six. We're going to work on that. Let's get, let's get that improved as the game goes on. So right at the start of the second period, we throw a cross crease. Sydney throws it in. Hits the goalie first, though, and kind of bounces in the back of the net. Uh, good luck by us. Pretty fortunate bounce, though to get a goal right at the beginning of the second. Just a few minutes later in NHL time, we try to go for the cross crease. It kind of skips over, and we get the, I guess, rebound, you could call it, and we just snipe it short side. It was a bit of puck luck. Madano catches it. I don't know why he's been Johnny on the spot, but so far that's two times he's caught a loose puck and finished for us, so very fortunate. Four to one so far. Taves here coming in, top of the left circle. Uh, I, I just decided to pull up. I don't usually do that. Um, I'm used to playing the regular NHL. I got my special hut team. They're all really talented. So I can score and shoot from angles that I'm not used to. Kind of like that. Great move by Pavel Bure. <laughs> great shot, great finish on the opposite side. A uh, beautiful wrist shot there. So we're kind of putting this game out of reach now. It's the end of the second. It's six to one. We hit clappers from the top of the circle, cross creases, snipe, short side, you name it, we were doing it. And our opponent decides to quit. We got that passing percentage up from what it was, 28%. 15 to one on faceoffs, just really dominant. Uh, even though it didn't seem like it at the start of the game, it was only two to one, uh, or it was one to one, you could say, with you know 30 seconds or so left in the first period. Uh, but we caught fire. You know, we were coming in hot from our top one, or you know, our grind when we play regular NHL, uh, which is a lot harder in my opinion, as you know. Um, so uh, there you go. We we come in hot. We're playing with a great team. It's very easy to not easy, but it's um, you know a lot more forgiving when you play with a team like mine in hut against people so dangles dre uh you know good record 69 and 27 i think it was and yeah that's pretty pretty darn good uh he hasn't had that many games played so maybe he just started out a, a couple months ago or something like that but uh but good nonetheless no i decided to check our ranking or 2000 something in the world look at the kids above me they're all 500 or have losing records but they've just played so many more games they're better i guess I guess, right? <laughs> I don't know how that ranking system works out. So we have some maintenance to do here. I'm not going to show you that. Ain't nobody got time for that, as they say. So 
so getting into our second game, that's right, I'm going to give you two games on this video. Um, tons of goals in the first game. Here we're working around the first period. We hit the simple cross crease, uh, throwing it over to Pavel Bure again, and uh, Subban on the assist. Uh, oh, man, Subban's been pretty solid too, man. Can't lie. Guy's been great. So right off the faceoff, right off that, our team of the year, our one team of the year player. He's on the third line. Voracek showing up again. That guy has been extremely solid. I know a gentleman by the name of Jeremy commented for me to get him a couple videos ago. And there you go. He is coming through. Um, he doesn't have the dangles or the handles as much as I'd like. Like I've said before, he's very wide. He's very tall. He's pretty fast, but um, his shot is what separates him. He's got a wide body, so when he hangs that puck out there, you get a lot of angles. Anyway, so on to the second period. It is 2-0. Somehow he lets my Taves just cruise down. I think I've been dangling and deking all game so far, so he was not expecting me to just shoot the gap. Captain Tave shoots the gap. Uh, quick with the assist. Dowdy with an assist. So Jay Quick. That's two assists in like three games, I think, for our goalie, which is cool. Headman, good pass off the <laughs> off the uh, face off there. He sets up in the slot or a little inside of the slot and just claps one home on the power play, making it four to nothing. Uh, terrible clear attempt, but it's the end of the period anyway, so I thought Lidstrom might crank one there, but we didn't have enough time. Alright, so 4 nothing at the end of the first period, 23 shots to 9, uh, face-offs 13-4, to four. we've been really solid on face-offs lately, hence why I have Crosby, Taves, and Pavelski, and Backstrom, they're all good at face-offs. If you guys are having trouble on face-offs, it's probably, could be you, could be your players, so uh, make sure you check those guys out for stats. This guy's kind of had enough. Um, I'm sorry, I think I mentioned before it was the end of the first, it's actually the end of the second, so we were starting the third, nothing really happening, 5 nothing. he pulls his goalie, again, we're kind of messing around here a little bit, Sydney cranks one, or no, is that Taves cranks one from the, the boards uh, in the empty net, that's 6 nothing now, he's just pulling his goalie, trying, I think he just wants to score a goal, as I think it was, that's what it was coming down to, and you know what? Good for him. Check that out. Clap. He pulled his goalie again. I didn't win the faceoff. He claps one with Justin Williams, the new capital. Good shot. Good rip. Uh, you got your goal. <laughs> he got his goal. Uh, so, you know, pulling your goalie over and over again. I think he just didn't want to get shut out. I don't blame him. That's cool. I thought he probably would have quit earlier, but he did not. So, uh, you know, tip of the cap to him for hanging in there. And guys, that's going to do it. Those are our two games. Of course, I'm going to show you their rankings. As always, I love to do that. I love to be transparent with my viewers. That is very important for me. It should be for you, too. Um, so as we get into his ranking, uh, you know, I, I, it's been a long time since I've played someone really great. And In last week's video, I put one up last Friday. If you check that out, we played a top 700 guy in Hut. Um, I don't I, I don't remember the score off the top of my head. Not that we trashed him, but we definitely outplayed him big time. I don't think it was that close of a game. So I've been looking, and we've been on a, a nut win streak. I mean, I think it's almost at 20 games. I'll update you next week on how many games we've won in a row. Hopefully we don't lose any. So 99-81 against this guy. Um, so we, it's been a while since we played someone really great in Hut. I play top 100 players all the time in regular NHL, but for whatever reason, Hut's not matching me up with anyone. I don't. I, it's not like I don't want to. I'd love to play. I'll play anyone in Hut for all I care, but I, I'm not seeing them. I, they're not coming up in the game. So hopefully we run into someone better soon. No offense to these guys. They're good players. We just have a, a better team, honestly, and I think we're a better player as well. So that's kind of what's been going on. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you're still enjoying the videos. Of course, I'll have two to three videos next week as always. Um, and if you don't know, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's ebbs and flows and NHL for both of those. Again, hopefully you're enjoying the content, guys. As always, take care.